Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And today we're going to be going through my yarn bingo card. Actually, I didn't do too bad. I almost got six bingos this month, but I only ended up with four. So you can see I down, down, across, across. But like if I'd done a snowman or a wreath, I could have gotten my diagonals. Actually, I would have gotten the top row too. Um, and I did actually print a Cupid pattern. So many, many moons ago, I bought the Gonk gnome pattern and she has a Cupid Gonk. Um, so I did actually print that thinking I might do it, but there's no way I'm going to get that done in the next two days. Uh, today is Thursday, so I am trying to film this early. Um, I should actually post this one today, either today or tomorrow, and I'll have my show and tell for Saturday and my review for Monday. But uh, anyway, y'all don't care about all that stuff. You just want to know what I made this month. So first off, um, as I did last year, I'm just going to go straight across each row and tell you what I actually got done. And uh, y'all already saw my card, so you know, got four bingos this month. Um, fingerless gloves. Boom. Got the other one over here. Um, this was the last little bit of bloom yarn I had left. So I did two knit projects and two crochet projects. And I actually have this itty bitty tiny little ball left. Actually, I think there's two of the bloom strips in my scrap bin, but that's what I have left. Um... Lemonade Preemie Blanket is the next one. Finish a whip. So I think this is lemonade. I shared these in my videos and then just kind of stacked them up. I really need to remember to put a yarn bingo pile together and then start stacking up my donation stuff. But there's that. Create three mug cozies. So part of being sick is I just didn't want to have to think about things this week. So I did actually do three mud cozies. Um, I talk about these in show and tell number 52. I think there's only a pattern for one of them. So this is a hopscotch scratch that I had in my yarn bin. This is a premier anti-pilling scrap. This is um, Holiday which is my, if you've followed me for any length of time, my favorite Premier Anti-Pilling color. And it's one of the first released colors. And this is Spun Colors with a little bit of Unforgettable on the bottom. So that literally took up that entire cake between my hat or my, my headband, my scarf, and this. 100% of Spun Colors got used. Very excited about that. And the last thing on the row is Knit Preemie Blanket which is here. Finish a whip. No, work on a blanket project. So this was actually a test knit for Karen over at KB Fibers. She is going to be releasing her knit preemie blanket book this year. So that was the first one I did. Um, row number two, finish a whip. I have my Vegas light socks. So I've actually worn these. I just had to pull them out of the dryer to bring them down here. Um, these were finished very early this year. I These are the Toe Up OMG Heel. Ooh. And I used a Turkish cast on. And it's a uh, Premier Wool Free in Vegas Lights, which is why I keep calling them my Vegas Light Socks. And they are bright. Very, very bright. Um, number two, row two, create a mug rug. So this is uh sugar and cream in mod ombre. <coughs> Excuse me. It's either mod ombre or mod stripes. I'm not sure which. And this is the linen stitch. And I did a row of single crochet and a row of half double crochet bordering it. And it's actually perfect for uh, my little state mugs, city mugs, and a little sugar-free candy treats. 
really enjoying this so far. Uh, create a baby gift. We have a little baby hat made out of Premier Nordica. Organize your yarn stash. That really didn't take me much time at all. That, that kind of felt like cheating, marking that off. Um, there were a couple balls upstairs that I just kind of shifted around, but, um, if I thought I could flip the camera without it, like freaking out, I'd show you the yarn wall behind you guys, but yeah, everything, I know where it is more or less. I can see everything. I can get to everything. So we're good. Create Valentine decor. Let me make sure I'm, I'm getting everything for this. Yeah. Okay. So I, there's only two of us here. It's just me and my husband. So I made two heart shaped coasters and I don't think I used an actual pattern for this, but if I, I think there was a, like I said, my brains have been mashed potatoes with this cold. Um, I think there was a chart that I kind of used to get the shaping right for the heart. I really like the shaping on this heart. Um, so if I see where I found the chart, I will share it uh, in show and tell 52. If not, that's what it looks like. <laughs> you can pause it and uh, see what you guys think about it. And to go with that, I made little plate chargers. Now, this circle is using the pumpkin dishcloth, and I've got two of them, by Sarah Satch. Um, I am pretty sure I've done this pattern before to make dishcloths. I really love just the, the circle. And that's all I used was just the circle. Um, so these will be shared in show and tell number 52. And I think this is actually going up before show and tell 52. So give it a couple days for that to pop up. If it's, yeah, if it's not up. So today's Thursday. I'm going to try to post this tonight and my show and tell will go up on Saturday morning. So hopefully everything will be there for that one. Um, row three, create something with scrap yarn. I made a headband out of scraps using my spun colors from Premiere. And this is just camel stitch to fit my head. Nothing, nothing fancy or unusual. Just, just a nice little ear warmer. I did make it when my hair was longer, but you know, whatever. It works. Still keeps my ears warm. I still look goofy in 90% of the hats I make. Uh, create a Valentine for a friend. So I have not made the card yet, but one of my yarny sister friends sent me a Christmas card and I didn't get it until late. So I'm going to send her a Valentine card with a little heart ornament in it. So that's, that's the crochet yarny part. I still need to make her a card. Then we have free space. Finish a whip. Another preemie blanket. This is the solitary blanket from Karen's book, KB Fibers. Um, this is using peas and carrots, Lion Brand cupcake. Obviously, I didn't get to the gold section on it doing this blanket. Uh, this is actually, my gauge was off. So it's in the size for a one pound preemie. So this is a slightly smaller blanket. Create a hat and scarf set. I knit a hat and scarf out of Premier Bloom. I shared that last week. So that's show and tell 51. Um, the hat and cowl are both my patterns. There's not a pattern to share for those. But there we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me, you guys. This, I mean, it's the most nagging, obnoxious cold ever. I don't, at any point, aside from when I'm really tired, feel bad, but I'm not able to sleep and I just randomly get yucky. It's gross. It's gross. Um, row four, finish a whip. 
This is my braided Pioneer scarf. Um, I believe I shared this in Show and Tell 50 and have the link for the pattern there. But it's a nice, snuggly, warm scarf. And it matches my headband. And now I can be like totally matchy-matchy and use my cup cozy. That'd be a little overkill, but you know, whatever. It works. Um, Create a pair of slipper socks. So I made a pair of socks in Premier Nordica. Where did I set those? Uh, these are dirty. I wore these yesterday. I had to pull them out of the wash. So they're a little stretched out and stuff from where I was wearing them yesterday, but I did. This is like the first time where like most everything is a finished object. I never do this for yarn bingo where like 50% of everything's actually finished. But I did. I got these done. <coughs> Create a Valentine countdown. So Kayla was not very specific on what she meant by Valentine countdown. And most of the ones I have seen are very similar to what Ella did, where you make a little calendar and you've got a little marker that goes place to place, kind of like an advent calendar kind of thing. I don't have chidgens. And my husband and I really don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, you know, I'll make a nice steak dinner or something like that. But like, aside from, you know, I'll throw some parts out around the house. Like, we really don't. Occasionally, somebody might see something and give the other one a gift, but it's not like a thing. So what I decided to do, um, part of my year goal is to make six pairs of socks. Now, I'd have completed two this year so far. I took a self-striping yarn. And my last pair of Felici socks just happened to be perfect to break up into 14 days. So I cast on the toes and got to a color change. So these are at the exact, that's two pairs in the exact same spot. And I am going to do, I think it's one row of color per sock every day. So two rows a day. There's seven color stripes, not including the cuff. So for these, I am probably going to do an afterthought heel like I did my blue Felici socks that I shared a while back. Um, I think I shared those, my first video of the new year, whichever show until that was, because I got those finished right before the end of the year. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably do an after a full afterthought heel where I cut it in, but counting down to Valentine's day, I should have everything but the cuff and heel done. And that'll be my Valentine countdown. And it helps me with my goal of using 25 balls of, or 25 Hanks slash balls of a hundred gram sock weight yarn. These are two 50 gram balls. So this is one, this, this satisfies one. Um, it helps me with my goal of six pairs of socks and it gives me something cute to work on for Valentine's day. So and that's in its own little bag. And I have my little needle bag in there. <coughs> Those are on size two, six inch circulars. That way I can just work straight up the sock, bind off, and then I'll cut in for the heel. So the last row, row five. Wait a minute. What did I do here? I have mixed something up here. No, I didn't. Okay. I'm just, I'm totally ditzing out here. Um, so I've got two of these <laughs> and I thought for some reason I had already shared both of them, but I hadn't. Um, so this is the other baby hat that I made. Uh, it says create a Valentine hat. I'm pretty sure that looks pretty Valentine-y. <laughs> so that gives me two hats to donate this year for, um, these will probably just go to the uh, maternity ward because these are newborn size they're not preemie sized 
Um, and the last thing was finish a whip. And I have the cowl that I made out of Premier Nordica. And this will be gifting to somebody special. Hopefully I'll get her gifts ready to. I've got some stuff for her that I think I'm going to send out now. And then I have some stuff for her grandchildren that I want to send. But I think those are going to have to wait because I went from wanting to do um, hats and cowls for them. Um, but by and large, this winter has been super mild. And I was looking at my Premier Basic over there. And between my Premier Basic collection and some of my tent sale yarn that I have from a couple years ago, I think I have enough to do two or three children sized like sofa blankets so slightly shorter than a twin size blanket but about the same width as a twin size blanket um oh goodness gracious I'm getting stuff everywhere so that is everything that I got done for yarn bingo I do have my four four bingos there Maybe if I pause long enough with holding this up, this will be my thumbnail that pops up instead of like my lighter co box video of me looking like, like I'm somehow disappointed with that box. But my other two options were me going and, and watch those will now pop up. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. I will leave a link for Llama Mama Kayla's channel down below. Um, she's been really, really good at getting the bingo cards out. There is a Facebook group, so I will be sharing this video to the Facebook group along with my picture of my bingo card. And like I said, I'm a little bit early filming this, but there is just no way I am going to be able to do anything else with this. I have two test projects that I'm going to be working on. Um, one is two very small projects, and one is another preemie blanket, and I have a deadline for a couple other things that I need to get done. So, <laughs> yeah, I there's just no I'm I'm calling it quits for the month. I'm done. I've done everything I intended to do on here. I used it for inspiration while I was sick to do little things. So, I'm good. I'm good. We're good to go. Um, so yeah, once again, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask them down below in the comments. You can follow me on Instagram and send me a message on Instagram. You can also email me. Um, all that information, all my contact information is down below. Um, you can also look for this video tagged on or posted to Llama Mama Kayla's uh, Facebook group and you can reach me there too. So anyways, you guys, you guys, wow, y'all, y'all have a good weekend and I will see you guys really soon. Bye, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by.